As many of you guys know who's watching this video, the biggest crisis we are dealing with in the housing market right now is the low, low interest rates. And the second that these interest rates start to go up just a little bit, everybody starts to panic. Now, what everybody's doing right now in the current housing market is they want to lock in that nice rate. They want to buy that nice house because the monthly mortgage payments are so cheap. And something that I like to mention is people who are buying homes are buying the monthly mortgage payment, not the house. So they're valuing that house based off of how much is that monthly mortgage payment gonna be every single month. And even if they're overpaying, as long as that monthly payment is exactly where they wanna be, they don't mind overpaying. So if you're in the market right now looking for a house because you love the low interest rates, this video is for you. And if you're also in the market just browsing around wondering why our house price is so expensive, I've got answers for you. Now, before diving into this video, I got two things that I'm going to ask from you. Number one, please don't forget to hit that like button if you get any value because it pushes this video to other people just like you. And number two, I officially launched a Discord channel where you can join for free and I talk every single day on there. I reply to you directly about real estate, money, and business. Join it. It's for free. Link is below and I'll see you guys there. Now, let's get right into this video. Two years ago, two years ago, I helped my client buy a home that's worth $400,000 and the interest rate that they locked in at a 30 year term was 5.5%. Now that mortgage, the monthly payment was $2,271.16 per month. At the time, you had no choice. Rates were from 5% to 6% and that was just the normal. You adjusted to it, everybody saw it as it's okay. In fact, we thought we got a pretty good rate because we initially got quoted 5.9%. So to get 0.4% off, we were like, nice. Now keep that monthly payment in mind because I want you to connect it with the next number that I'm sharing with you. That same loan amount, if you wanted to match it in this current market, if you wanted to get the same monthly mortgage payment of $2,270, $71.16, listen to this. You would qualify at a 3% interest rate for a home that's worth $540,000. Two years ago, that monthly mortgage payment would have got you at a 5.5%, it would have got you a $400,000 home. Today, at a 3% rate, you'd qualify for that same monthly mortgage payment at a $540,000 home. That is a massive difference. That is $140,000 more than you could have gotten a home two years ago. Now, hopefully this is making you realize why the housing market is so hot. That is aside from the low supply, from the high demand. This is just talking interest rates. So in today's market, it would cost you to buy a $540,000 home at a 3% interest rate every single month, $2,276.66 just a couple dollars more than it would have costed you two years ago for a $400,000 home. Now let that sink in, take your time, I'm just gonna chill back over here until you realize this is exactly why the housing market is on fire, people are panicking, they're wanting to lock in the rates because they're buying monthly mortgage payments, nah. The actual house. That was a quick video, a quick breakdown for you on why the housing market is on fire. That's a small portion of the answer, but that's a big one because when you put the numbers in front of you, they are facts and they are real. Numbers don't lie, people do. And what I just shared with you right now is a true fact on why the housing market is booming. And as we know, when the rates are low, it's because the economy wants to stimulate revenue, wants to stimulate movement and purchases and more loans taken out. And when rates go up, it's because they wanna cool down the market. So as of right now, the rates are low because the pandemic, because we're trying to motivate and encourage people to move around in the markets, but who knows how long that's gonna last. So for all of you wondering, should I buy a house or should I not? I actually made a video that I'm gonna link up top that you can check out. I give you the answer there, so go check that video if you're confused and hopefully it's gonna help you. Anyways, everybody, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, hit the like button and most importantly, subscribe. I upload three times every week and I wanna see you guys there. And don't forget, join the Discord, link is below and I'll see you all in the next video. I'm out.